The drought is over. Kyle Busch back to victory lane. After nearly a year of going winless, the drought is over for Kyle Busch pretty much as soon as it began on the racetrack. Because, uh, man, uh, I guess the first thing to talk about for this race, because I just got done watching the Auto Trader Echo Park, whatever it's called, 500, Air Titan 500, because, um, Man, the delay, the delay, the delay. Uh, we waited 72 hours for this. Best 72 hours I think I've ever spent. Because it paid off when Kyle Busch went to victory lane for me personally. Big Kyle Busch fan. Um, glad to see him break the drought. And of course, for everybody that doesn't like Kyle Busch, hey, look on the bright side. He isn't going to win four more races this season. And he isn't winning a championship, so let let him have this victory. It's one win for the Chase Elliott fans. You guys have had three already. Um, for the because I saw a lot of people on social media saying how oh how bad Chase luck is, and it's like yeah, Chase has had some bad luck this season, but he's also had some very, some good bright spots to actually celebrate. Kyle fans, we've had a very similar amount of bad luck and we've had nothing to celebrate until now but yeah man long rain delay uh first 50 laps the only notable things was um denny hamlin slipping a little bit and um kevin harvard getting into the wall but then 72 hours after that pause um for rain and more rain and more rain um we finally got back to racing and Pretty much immediately, Matt Kenseth and Bubba Wallace decide that their races are done because you know, Matt Kenseth got loose, went up the track, checked up, uh, and kind of got run over from behind because Denny Hill wasn't expecting him to be checking up so much, which then turned Kenseth down across the track into Bubba Wallace. Really, it's just one of them racing deals. It isn't. It really is going to hurt um, a lot of younger fans. Uh, impression of how good Matt Kenseth, Matt Kenseth is, especially if they are new fans to the sport, because really the last two years have been, well, the last two years of Kenseth's race, 2018-2020, have been brutal for Kenseth's um, legacy, just because he has had virtually no on-track success. Now, he's had some good runs, especially for the cars he's been in, but he has not won... And he's wrecked a fair amount, especially this year. So, yeah, definitely a rough, um, a rough return to racing for uh, for Kenseth and Bubba Wallace. Also collected in that, as I mentioned, the eleven got a little bit of damage, which I um, I don't really know if they got much, but it certainly if they did get some, it was you can attribute that to what hampered their success for the rest of the day. Um, Amarola got a piece of it. I believe he fought back to finish pretty well, though. Uh, let me check results. Um, but yeah, so Kyle Busch, though, winning it. MTJ coming second. This is exactly what Toyota needs, getting ready for the new year. Uh, MTJ first, or MTJ getting a top five. Christopher Bell getting a top five, getting third. Um, Ryan Blaney doing well. Uh, Alex Bowman doing well. Uh, speaking of which, that 88 uh, will be becoming the 5. I was um, right on that Larson News just a tad bit early. Um, Stenhouse, a top 15. That's impressive, just kind of looking at it. Uh, Harvick, 16th. He pretty much has done what he needs to do to lock up one of those championship four spots. We just don't know if it'll be the... Um, if it'll be the... Um, if it'll be with a win at Martinsville next week, or if it'll be on points, uh, Chase Elliott, um, and everybody pretty much on the outside looking in right now is in a must-win. Um, so right now the championship four looks like it'll be uh, Hamlin, Harvick, and um, Keselowski joining them, barring a um, a win from Kurt Busch, MTJ, um. Chase Elliott or Alex Bowman at Martinsville. Barring a win from one of those four, that's going to be your championship four. So I think this is no, this win from Kyle Busch is pretty much locked up that both Denny and Harvick will make it to the next round. So 
Uh, definitely a good um, result for them. Uh, Jimmy Johnson with another engine issue. Uh, how many of those have we seen uh, this year? I mean, seriously. Uh, really hoping he can find his magic at Martinsville. That's been another one of his tracks. I think he can do it. Um, but yeah, really when it comes down to it, it looks like... Um, like when you're looking at the uh, races, at the two races remaining, I'd say expect um, a a potentially a race like what we saw from Keselowski at Spring Martinsville last year. I think you'll see one of the Penske cars get out front and dominate because they've been so good on this um, aero package. Potentially a late race caution allows someone else to try and wreck someone for it. Um. Yeah, just kind of looking through the uh, running order. Nothing else really all that notable. But something else I wanted to mention because I haven't mentioned it with all this going on. Uh, and I'll probably uh, also mention it more in detail, some thoughts on it. But uh, Ben Rhodes definitely should have gotten a penalty for some of that. Because, I mean, at some point you got to realize these are human beings. They, <laughs> You can't just wreck them for no reason at that high of speeds and expect everything to always be okay. I mean, luckily for Ekis, he was okay. Same thing with Balicki, who didn't have that hard a crash, and Todd Gilland as well was okay. But, I mean, the more times you go and wreck people, the more and more chances you are that someone's going to get hurt. Um, Ekis' was probably the scariest of them. Luckily, he caught the back end of the truck with the wall, so it wasn't anywhere near the driver compartment, which is... Very good for Atkins, I would say, uh, especially at the speed and, and angle that he would have impacted it had his car, had his truck been 180 degrees around and he'd hit with the nose. Um, so I think there should have been a penalty for that. And looking forward to Martinsville, I would say anticipate something to happen because this is not over. Uh, NASCAR has talked with Rhodes. He isn't going to continue. He has said he won't uh, continue this. But that isn't going to stop Balicki or um, Ekis from going and continuing it. So, yeah. Um, looking through the rest of the results, just trying to see if there's any other notables. Um, Matt Benedetto was running pretty well in this one. Um, I guess I mentioned it briefly, but Christopher Bell, an impressive third-place finish. I thought for a moment he had a shot at winning this thing. Um, in the end, he, his car just kind of fell off as the run got a little long. Uh, Logano getting a top 10, kind of just logging laps, waiting for Homestead, or waiting for, uh, Phoenix, I mean. Um, Byron Custer with top 15 finishes. Reddick, fin top 15. So, a lot of these guys just kind of running pretty close to... To how they usually would. Some guys got trapped lap down there. Like late in the race, there was, um, like, you know, towards the end of stage two, there was a um, situation where Chase Elliott had a tire come up as part as he was leaving pit road. Um, that cost him a lap. That really kind of put, took him out of a chance to win this thing. He ended up finishing 20th. But really, I don't think anyone was catching the other guy, those other guys, though. Considering they had at least up to um, 16th place lapped with Kevin Harvick um, getting lapped there late in this one. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything from uh, Texas, a very rainy Texas motor speedway. Um, on the bright side, it is Thursday. One day off, so um, from, on tr from real on-track racing, of course, check out the Thomas Cup Series tomorrow night. We'll be live there um, Around about 9.30 Eastern time for for that race um, from the yeah, from the Texas Motor Speedway as well. So kind of following the Cup Series for that one. Um, and then we've got trucks at Martinsville on Friday night. Um, also tomorrow there will be a... Uh, I'm going to be um, posting a video about the other uh, Silly Season news that we got that wasn't Kyle Larson related this we, just because I ha hadn't really gotten a chance to talk about it yet, and it's a fairly in-depth topic, so I uh, expect a pretty good video on that. Other than that, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this 
um, video. If you guys did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new so you guys never miss an episode. And other than that, I think that's pretty much everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video, live stream, or whatever you guys decide to do with the rest of your day. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye!